in the state of Texas, um, school districts use a hazardous route system for families living within two miles of their school to assess whether or not their child qualifies for transportation. A member of our transportation staff has it utilizes the hazardous route matrix to assess the path from a student's home to the school and whether or not it scores to a point of reaching a hazardous route. So the net zone is not eligible for transportation and it's for families and students living within two miles of their assigned school. So we have about 21,000 students that live within two miles of their assigned school. Um, some of those students may qualify for transportation. One, if they, if they have it in their IEP and in their special education program, automatically get bus transportation if it's in their IEP. Um, the other route for students within two miles to get bus service um, is if their route is scored as hazardous. So their path to school from their home to their school is deemed hazardous based on transportation's hazardous route scoring mechanism. So the board, as they do periodically, uh, charged administration to form a committee of citizens, parents, families to come together and to assess the tool to possibly be implemented for next year. What was important to the committee was having a system under the new matrix that really accomplished three things. Does it provide clarity, remove the ambiguity around it? Is it simple? The second thing is, is it repeatable? That is, if I measure it, or if you measure it, do we come up with a very similar scale and score? And the third thing, is it defendable? Can we look at each of these items and say to someone that wouldn't be affected directly, does this make sense? Is this really a hazardous condition? And how do we evaluate it? The committee was drawn together from two sources. The primary source was the community. These were all, all of us were members of what's called the District-Wide Education Improvement Council, or DWIC, and we represent different geographical parts of the area. It's parents. It's people who have kids in the district who have a vested interest in making sure these children are arriving safe. We're drawn uh, as volunteers throughout all different geographic parts of the district. The second half was administration. These are senior staff people who are involved in the daily transportation decisions for moving children. And together we sat down and worked out a system to how we can evaluate and contemplate hazardous routes. The committee has had an opportunity to have a look at how other districts do it, how we've done it in the past, and make some recommendations of our own. We're now turning to our greater community of Leander School District. Visit www.leanderisd.org slash hazardous routes to leave feedback through our Let's Talk tool. We look forward to hearing your feedback and we encourage you to come and see our next steps. Mm -hmm.